Hey, I'm sorry. I mean, I know this. There, for, please forgive the cicadas or whatever those giant noisy bugs are, and all of the airplanes. So I pray that all is well with everyone. Hope everybody is having a great day. We are back again, as always, to encourage one another to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus and in Christ Jesus alone, because all other ground is sinking sand. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All other ground is definitely sinking sand. It's swamp land, uh, virtually, uh, essential. Uh, actually, it's just swamp land. So, yeah. So, you know, our prayer is always that one is getting stronger, being strengthened by the Lord, getting closer and more intimate with the Lord, knowing him and him for yourself and not through a third party because you the veil, the curtain has been torn, has been rent. You no longer need anybody, no intermediary in order to go in to Christ Jesus. You can go to him yourself freely and, and boldly to his throne of grace to receive mercy uh, of any kind. He's there. So, and he's near to the brokenhearted. That's, these are his words, not mine. So, and I trust him and believe that what he says he means and, and he can do exactly what he said he can, he can or, and or will do. So I just wanted to come on here regarding those who go about touting this word or this phrase, uh, or this, um, mindset that you are, um, what do you call these? You have ancestral curses upon you or, you know, curses, you know, stuff like that. There's no such thing as that for the believer. Once you have put your hand in the hand of God and you have been reconciled to Christ Jesus, you have been adopted. You are no longer phased, touched, or, or, uh, or anything by any of your past, uh, whatever your family's past is, you know, and you know, it, that's, that's just nonsense to, for people to tell people they have to pray about ancestral curses. And that's a bunch of hogwash, okay? You don't need that. Once you have aligned yourself with Christ, again, I say, you have aligned yourself with Christ Jesus, the Lord. All of that is gone. You have now been adopted. God is your Abba Father. Unless... Uh, or, or, uh, but it, it's not true only if you have aligned yourself with a church. Well, if you have aligned yourself with a church, then that's a different story. But once you have aligned yourself with, with Christ, all of that is nonsense. They go around telling you, uh, and they ha have books out and teach on if the, uh, like I think it's Psalms 11 and 3 that says, um, if, uh, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Well, your foundation, if you align yourself with Christ Jesus, is the foundation of Christ Jesus. Okay? No more of the foundation or your beginnings. Your beginnings that whatever is, you don't know, your father was, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, all of that, you know, is just really null and void. It's already been washed, cleansed, and buried in the blood of Jesus. It was It died on Calvary. Okay? It died on Calvary. So don't let people tell you something is wrong with you. You are fine. Yes, you might have been raped. You might have been molested. Okay. You might have been beaten, you know, uh, verbally abused or any type of thing. You might have lived in poverty. Whatever has happened in your background, in your parents' background, in your grandparents' background, all of that is null and void, covered in the blood of Jesus. Point blank and simple. So don't be, don't keep going back. See, that's what the churches do. They keep putting you back into bondage, back with the law, back with the Old Testaments. Okay, come to the New Testament. You are a modern day New Testament believer. Jesus is has fulfilled all of the law. I mean, if that's the case, go ahead and get your bullocks, get your turtle doves, and, and get all of the other little animals and start slaughtering them on altars. Do you do that? Then, you know, why not? Because it's dead and gone, okay? You don't have to do all of that. As far as tithing is concerned, all of, you don't have to do that. That's not even, that was not even for you, us, period. Not even for, it wasn't for Christian, it, it wasn't for Levi. It, I mean, um, it was for a, a priest that, 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 that God was talking to. He was, he's not talking to you. You do not have to tell you. Now you give freely as you propose in your heart. You give as you want to. 
If you don't want to give anything, you don't give anything. Because it's our hearts that condemn us. Right? So, you don't have to give anything if you don't want to. But if you want to give, you give what you want to give. There's no settled amount, 10%. You know, you don't, and all of that sowing and sowing into good ground and uh, first fruits and all of the, the nonsense is all nonsense, okay? So I just wanted to come on here and let you know that you are free. He who has had, is in Christ Jesus is free indeed, okay? Be in Christ Jesus. Come out of the, the brick and mortar church. Why? Because you are now the church. The, there's no more buildings. Did read your word, beloved. Study to show yourself approved. Start in those gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, alone and read. Don't read. Don't go and start reading with people. I need a study partner. I need a prayer partner. I need, need, need. Jesus said, I am going away, but I am sending the comforter to you. Don't disavow and disannul and disregard Christ Jesus and the, the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit, brother, beloved. Beloved, you, you need the Holy Spirit, okay? You, you don't need church and all of that nonsense. It's nonsense. And you can be offended and all of that. But once you finish being offended, go and talk to God about it, okay? Go and talk to God about it because I'm just a messenger. Okay, but yeah, I just want to let you know you are free. Don't don't believe all of the hype saying that you you have ancestral curses or what is there another word that they use? Is that ancestral curses and as yeah all of that stuff? You if, no all of that that whatever happened is washed in the blood of Jesus. Once you become aligned with God, any mental torments and all of that, anything, any depression. Anything, any drug addiction, whatever. You don't need therapy. You don't need a counselor. You don't need anything but Jesus. Because submit it to him. And once you submit it to him, it's a done deal. It's a done deal, beloved. You are free. You don't have to wait. You don't have to keep seeing nobody. You don't have to pay money to see anybody. You don't have to see anybody for free. Because if you're seeing pastors and elders and all that, they just really want to know your business so that they can figure out how to be with you even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to see all of them and be counseled by all of them and their wickedness. So that's all I really came to say. You are free. You don't have to worry about uh, all of that uh, background garbage and, 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 and baggage. And, and people putting you back in bondage and under bondage. You are free to be free if you want to be free. Now, if you want to go back to bondage, that's your business. But I'm giving you a word today to be free. Love you very much. We are here to encourage you. Uh, want encourage, excuse me, encourage one another to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus and in Christ Jesus alone. Because all other ground is sinking sand. We pray that you will... Um, uh, find comfort and find direction in this message. Uh, we pray that you have been exhorted, that you have been taught well, that you have been loved well, and that um, you know that you you know have been, you know received some insight and eye-opening uh, direction uh, for your life. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment on this video. If you subscribe, please hit the notification bell. So that you will be notified of our upcoming uh, videos and go. you can go to our Facebook page. You don't have to like it. You don't have to share it. If you don't want to, go over there and just read the content that is there. It's very powerful content that our team puts together. Just two little nuggets just to prompt you and just to strengthen you and give you faith and hope in Christ Jesus. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do that. And this will be on, if you're listening on our domestic channel, please go to our, um, exhortation channel. Uh, the information will be in the description box and subscribe over there and check out, check out that information there. If you are on our domestic channel, please, uh, please go over to our, um, exhortation channel and uh, I probably just said the same thing, but then nonetheless, go to the uh, vid down in the description box and you'll see each channel so that you can subscribe to both of them <laughs> or three, depending on when you hear this message. Because there's another 
channel that uh, we are yet to introduce, but we have lots of content there. All right. We love you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.